Video game culture has become a well shared pastime among young children, teenagers and adults. The average gamer is age 34 and only 25% of players are under 18. In 1972, Magnavox released the first home video game console which could be connected to a TV. The Magnavox Odyssey, and it was not until Atari's arcade game Pong popularised video games. Now, the video games industry is run by giant games such as Gears of War, Halo and the Call of Duty series. Call of Duty Black Ops made 400 million in 5 days and set the record. In order to explore some of the debates that surround the games industry, we carried out a focus group with 5 passionate gamers. I'd much rather play games than bowl and have friends. Yes. <laughs> than go to LA Bowl and spend about 15 quid on throwing balls and Yeah, throwing balls and pins. When you can, that when I can, when I can download a simulator yeah, of bowling for free. Yeah. Enjoyment. Uh, it's just fun to play games. You know, be able to go and team speak with your friends, have a laugh. Do you think how big the you know, game community is and how. Like, you know, you pick up a game, you can be any age and you find it fun. And it's like, what, you can be like three and pick up the Nintendo DS and play Mario. Most of my social skills were learned from games. You're just getting out there, you know, just, you know, escaping, that's it, you know, getting me a sandwich and all that business. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's also the major fun factor of it, like, I mean, you can go out and go to the cinemas with your friends or you can, you can, Stay at home and kill thirteen-year-olds across the world. And <laughs> it, it's it's a big side of the fun factor because you enjoy escaping the fact that you know oh, I've got to work tomorrow at nine o'clock in the morning. No, I'm just gonna stay up till five. I'll get three hours sleep. <laughs> There's a thing called Red Bull. I'm fine. There's, there's million and one reasons to play games. English are quite ignorant anyway. There's not many people that know Russian now. Yeah, <laughs> you know Chinese, but. You have a lot of English speaking servers and everyone speaks English, so it takes away the problems, mm -hmm. yeah. isn't it? You know, everyone's pretty much equal yeah. when they're playing online games. French people on Call of Duty. It's like American kids on Call of Duty. Yeah. Because they think they're amazing, but yeah. they just yeah. keep yeah. 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 But yeah, it's that, it's being able to be social without being social. Yeah. And so basically, it's, when you're in the, it's the lazy, one, man. lazy man way of being social. <laughs> Back on the war, war is subject, you know, maybe, I know it's like, this is like some film, futuristic nonsense, nonsense but maybe battles will be fought yeah. over something like that, because I mean, if you look at the, um, the British UAV now, it's controlled by an Xbox controller, and it does, yeah. you can, I mean, soon you'll be able to like, go, I'm going to control this robotic Terminator man and kill you with this controller. That's yeah. how, yeah. and to, to be honest, we'll probably all die in the hands of robots. Yeah. But <laughs> let's enjoy it while we can. Not necessarily the future for every game. No, but for first person shooters yeah. and stuff like I that. Think I think if a game wants to be successful, it's got to have at least yeah. some kind of multiplayer. Yeah. 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 We know the Xbox Connect. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think we've all seen it on Kotaku when it yeah, came yeah, out. Yeah. And uh, Russia in Topshop, they had it set up and it was like a virtual what? mirror. So you can go up to it and then you pick the clothes yeah, and she turned around and it was it was on it. I mean it's buggy, but I mean the next ten years I think it'll be at its peak, you know what I mean? So I actually think what's gonna happen is a few of you must have seen the film Gamer. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah that, that, really, that is yeah. what's gonna happen. I mean, no, I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't think they're gonna be controlling an army to people and they're just gonna go to someone's front doorstep and be like, Oh hi, you're a small child. <laughs> No, I don't think it's going to be that extreme, but I think eventually we're going to be controlling some physical form of you know, thing. When people think of gamers, they usually think young kids or teenagers. We interviewed Steve Algy, an avid gamer who's 44 years old. Why do you like it so much? What's the attraction? The attraction is the, the people that are on it and the, you know, you, 
you get friends playing it and they get shot like that and all. It's quite addictive, to be honest with you. But plus you have friends on there that you chat to and all that, so it's good, yeah, it's good. You end up with friends and talk to people in general chit chat and play the game and it's it's not around a good uh, good experience to be honest with you. And I quite enjoy it being forty four, even, you know. Jerry works at our place, Jerry's 53, that's GG150, he's also on here. And he's 53, Jerry, yeah, oldest swinger in town, yeah. Yeah, there's no age limit, like. <laughs> How many hours a day would you say he spent playing on video games? A couple of hours every day, I would say. Especially in the winter. Especially in the winter, you know, every night. Video games are violent, and they... Games like Call of Duty deserve the 18 rating. Well, most definitely, yeah, because they are violent, aren't they? They are the violent, basically, you're going around shooting and killing people. As many people as you possibly can. So, yeah, I believe it is. Any last words about games? Yeah, don't knock it till you've tried it. Thank you and good night. This was Xbox 360. As highlighted in this documentary, gamers have always been stereotyped in a very negative way as lazy, inactive, and socially awkward teenagers. However, with new technological advancements such as the Xbox Kinect, PlayStation Move and the Wii Fit, the industry are targeting a new style of game. On the surface this may seem like the industry has consumers' health in mind. However, we see this as a desperate attempt for them to capitalise on previously untouched segment of the audience. All we can do is enjoy the best that it has to offer. Um, I have a passion for gaming because it's something I've done for a long time. I just thought I've done all my life really and then it's just gotten bigger and better now, so continued with it. Yeah, I do think I've got a passion for gaming, uh, just because it can give you a break from everyday life, really, and uh, I don't know, it's just stressful, even. Um, yeah, I, I do actually have a passion for gaming, um, because it's just a bit of fun. It's fun, and it's not fun. Yeah, I, I definitely say gaming is like a religion to me. You know, just... I don't really know why, they're just, uh, just fun, aren't they? I suppose it gives you options rather than watching telly when you're at home. I think it's a great way of socialising. I love gaming, me.